These are the voyages of SV Bohemian, to travel the world challenging our fears and experiencing the world's beauty, culture, and food. So off to Philly we go to find the best cheesesteak sandwich. So when you get into Philly from coming from Delaware, you'll come across this bridge and then you'll get a good sighting of the, on the left of the skyline as you're coming in. And when you look to the right, it's a bunch of shipyards. And so I guess Philadelphia sets, if you follow the Chesapeake till it, it dead ends, you'll come to Philly. So when I looked down there and I seen those boats, you know what I had to do. I had to go down there and take a look. There were some military ships and there was one in particular. It looked like an old ocean liner and it looked just like the Titanic. Look at that thing. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but it's down there. All right, so off we go to find the best cheesesteak sandwich in Philly. So the first place we went to is called De Los Sandros. It's on the north side of Philly. And... That was a pretty good hoagie. There was a line of people out there for about, it took us about 30 minutes and it was like probably 20 degrees outside. And look at that thing, it was good. So that meat is kind of dry and has a beery flavor to it. And it was good and it didn't have a lot of fat to it. So if you were looking for something healthy to eat when it come to a cheesesteak, that'd be my pick. So not far from there is the Philadelphia Museum of Arts. So we went there to burn off some calories after those couple sandwiches to make room for the next ones. Now that spot place, there he is. We didn't end up looking like him after we hit them steps three times, but we sure felt like him. So now we're off to South Philly and there's an iconic place in that market called Denix. And they serve a pork cheese steak sandwich and I took I I tried their iconic one it was called broccoli and pork and you see that green it doesn't look like broccoli and that's an acquired taste the only example I got is if you ever had sushi and pickled ginger and at first you didn't like the pickled ginger but after a while it grew on you that's the sandwich for you so the other place there in the market terminal is a place called by george and they have a more traditional sandwich that everybody is used to where the the meat is slivered and it's got green peppers and cheese and onions like that so that's a if you're looking for a for a sandwich that you're used to that'd be the place to go now look at those prices on the parking across the street from the reading mark terminal it's eight bucks, I think, for the first 30 minutes. You miss it by 30 minutes, you miss your 30 minute timeline, you're paying $16. So if you take that ticket in, you can get it validated from one of the places you spend money at. And you'll get a little bit of a discount. I'm not exactly for sure what it was, but you'll get a little bit of a discount. So there's one more place I wanna show you. And so let's go take a look at this place. So we're cruising up South Street in South Philly. And we're going to a place called Jim's. It's known for having good steak sandwiches. So we, when we got there, the place was closed, and we didn't get to really try out the, we didn't get to try out their sandwich. But you know, there's so many places to get steak sandwiches in Philly. You'll never get to all of them. So the winner's gonna have to be De Los Andros down on the north side. So that's the video for the week, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. So. Don't forget to subscribe.